Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel where today I want to talk about being kicked off of the Metallica fan club. Um, this happened on Facebook and in a variety of other places over the course of time for having discussions. Uh, on Facebook though, more recently, I posted, I shared a song there and someone responded to the song immediately hating on it saying, can we please keep this focused on Metallica? To which I replied, <laughs> this is focused on Metallica. Metallica was a front runner of a type of music that resonated with quite a few of us and has been quite possibly called unrelated to themselves to begin with. For an example, take for, just for happenstance, the song, Nothing Else Matters. There's so many thing, so many directions and things that this band has done, which are out of the comfort zone of many people. So anyway, um, my response was when someone said, "Can we please keep this focused on Metallica?" My response was, "This is. It's a, not only is it focused on it, but in addition, I, I'm presenting a song that, in a lot of ways, was inspired by this band. I mean." A lot of the shirts that I have are from concerts, and um, I don't really have a lot of other concert shirts from, or as many concert shirts from other bands. Seeing them live was quite a treat, and hanging out with the fans was almost always a positive experience. However, more and more now I'm finding when you participate in conversations, uh, whether you're just sharing a piece of yourself or just something out of the ordinary, Sometimes people will get upset because maybe I really don't know why. What I do know is that that is a true story of a conversation that escalated to the point, and by escalated, I mean someone else chiming in and agreeing with the first person who said, let's keep it related. I hate this content that you've shared. Um, and basically a big group bunching up and concluding that I was as irrelevant as, as irrelevant a fan as would be needed to, to participate in that thread. So um, in a lot of ways, people talk about narcissism and chosen ones and, and uh, words being used to divide people. And uh, we do a fairly good job dividing ourselves. And the funny thing is that a lot of my upbringing and what resonated with me about this band was the type of music which I wouldn't call hostile, but very passionate. It's a very passionate music that I was able to hear um, above and beyond any of the music that was playing during the era when I was growing up being uh, victimized by different people in my life. And some people either embrace the lyrics or turn vehemently against the sound because it can be quite energetic or frenetic. Uh, which is a word that I used in a recent title on an email that I sent to somebody and got a, check this out. I don't know if I lined it up properly, but it was a vulture and also a large type of bee flying overhead as well. Um, I've got a sonic cup in front of me, a dragonfly flying overhead, butterfly, a bee, source of water in front of me where the birds sometimes will come to get a drink. And it's been a very quiet walk. I walked an entire trail system and saw a couple of lizards here and there, a couple of daddy long legs, a beetle. I've heard some birds, uh, but in general, it's been a quiet day. So it's been a quiet, that's a good thing sometimes. Uh, in terms of wildlife, that might not always be a good thing some of my songs cover those topics and I, I wonder sometimes if I didn't just accidentally touch on a nerve you know maybe people were afraid too afraid to hear some of the lyrics that I wrote in the past and now maybe they might want to give it another chance and see if it resonates with them uh, but in the meantime I've still been kicked off of the fan club on Facebook and um, I actually I actually went ahead and checked myself out of Facebook as well because more and more I found that all the groups were consuming themselves with a hostility 
uh, a fear-based energy that kind of feeds on itself and uh, eventually maybe burns out unless someone sets fire to their own house and even then just leaves a lot of destruction to pick up for the people who are left behind. So if you know anyone who's been left behind and you vouch for them in their favor, uh, please give this very next suggested link a consideration. I want to link to a song called Valley of the Ancients, and it talks about basically wildlife and its possible view of what we've done in its presence. So until next time, peace, love, and all that old school stuff.